Hey guys, it's Jessie V. So today I'm going to be doing another video of subscriber stories and usually I like to pick a theme for the day. Like last time it was a Ouija board theme. Today it's a mirror theme and mirrors have always freaked me out ever since I was a kid and you guys literally sent me some really freaky ones that I'm going to share and yeah, just get ready. I hope you guys aren't watching this at like scary hours of the night because be warned, these may freak you out. But before I get started, as I promised before, today I am announcing Unicorn of the Week. It is the person that I see pop up in my notifications all the time, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram. Basically, if I see your name a lot, you have a higher chance of becoming Unicorn of the Week. And today, her name is Wilbo2313. Her name is set to I'm a Satellite Out Loud, so obviously she loves The Gabby Show, which is really awesome. I love her too. But thank you for commenting on my videos like right away. Like literally when I post a video, I see her comment, or she'll tweet to me, or share my video. So she is absolutely amazing. You are Unicorn of the Week, girl. Thank you for being such an amazing supporter and VT member. <laughs> Round of applause. So yeah, if you guys want a chance to be Unicorn of the Week, put on your notification bell down below. That way when I first upload a video, you can be one of the first ones to comment because I literally look through my comments the first hour that I post. That's like the prime time. Anyways, let's get into these stories. This first one is from Wyla. Like I said before, I'm not gonna be saying any last names just to keep your privacy intact, you know what I mean? So let's read what she said. I have my computer down here below, so I'm gonna be looking down. And I really hate doing that. Like I wish I could like memorize these stories and like talk to the camera because it's just so much more entertaining. But we're gonna look down, we're gonna go through this, it's really freaky, get ready. So, oh, I lied, I lied. Her name is Jade. I guess her email's like Wyla, but her name is Jade, everybody, okay? So everyone knows. One morning around 5.30 a.m., since that's when I get up and get ready for school, girl, that is early, I feel for you. I was getting ready to take a shower. No one else was awake yet, and the house was completely dark and silent. I walked into the bathroom and shut and locked the door behind me. So I was just doing my thing, washing my hair and everything, but I had a really creepy feeling of being watched. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in the shower, I always feel that way. And in my new house, my shower doors are just glass, so it's a little bit easier for me because I can actually see around my bathroom. But back at my parents' house, I had a shower curtain, so like, you never know what was in the bathroom sort of thing. But anyways, I'm a paranoid person, so I didn't think much about it. But I got to the point where every 10 seconds or so, I'd peek outside of the shower curtain because I was sure someone was there. When I was finally finished, I stepped out of the shower and noticed something odd about the bathroom mirror. It was really fogged up since I take really hot showers. Same girl. There were three streaks as if someone wiped the mirror with their fingers. In the bottom corner, however, was something even more terrifying. It was a drawing of the head of a girl with big hollow eyes and an X for a mouth. Long hair had also been drawn on her. I don't know how this happened since the bathroom door was locked and everybody was asleep. This happened about a year ago and I've taken cold showers ever since. Yeah, for real. That is really scary, just especially because bathrooms, mirrors, stuff like that just freaks me out already. So I hope everything is okay for you now. Hopefully you haven't had any more experiences like that. And I'm really sorry you're taking cold showers now because those are the worst. All right, so the next story we have here is from Yulia. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. The subject line for this email is the little girl in my mirror. So already, when I was 11 years old, I was in my old apartment in Bulgaria. I've had a few paranormal experiences, but I was never really scared of them. One day, me and my friend decided to download a paranormal app to detect ghosts. That's just like exactly what Mandy and I did. It seemed very fake, and a ghost popped up. My great-grandmother used to live in that apartment, and her name was Viera. And guess what the ghost name was? Viera. She just said, I'm watching you, and then left. So I guess if it's like your grandma's ghost contacting you, it's not as scary. Like, I feel like that's almost like a sweet thing to do. Like, how you can actually reach out to family members that have passed. Like, that's kind of nice, but let's just see what she says. The next day I went to sleep. It was just like any other day. I woke up in the middle of the night. When I woke up, I looked at the mirror. And I always used to do that because I was really afraid of mirrors. I saw a little girl in front of the door that led to the kitchen. She was really short and had her black hair in front of her face. I thought that my eyes were playing tricks on me and then I blinked and she moved to the second door, which was closer to me. But she changed. She was really skinny and looked like she was from an animated movie. When I looked at the door with my own eyes, she wasn't there, but when I looked in the mirror, she was. So I've kind of heard of this before. Like when you see something in your mirror and you look behind you and it's not actually there, but you look back at the mirror and it's standing there. So I guess that's what's happening here. Totally shocked, I woke my father up, but the second I did, she disappeared. My father didn't believe 
believe me and this was not a dream. That is so, so freaky. Like sometimes when I hear stories like this, I think it's um, sleep paralysis or something, but if you know you're awake, you know you're awake, you know? I hope I never see a little girl in my mirror. So the last story that I'm gonna tell you is from someone named Ellie, and the title of her story is My Pocket Mirror. I'm a high school student in Asia, and Asian schools like to wake students up at five in the morning or earlier to get ready for school. Every morning I do the same routine. I wake up, eat breakfast, do my makeup, and one unfortunate day I was greeted by a shadow person. That, that does not sound like a good day. I was doing my makeup on a treadmill, don't ask. All right, all right, do your thing. Oh, I wasn't running on the treadmill. I was just sitting on it. That makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> Cause like running and doing your makeup, you have to have like talent for that. So in the background, there was a brown closet. And while I applied my bronzer on my face, I noticed a black jacket hanging on the closet's knob from my pocket mirror. I thought of it as nothing at first, but then something urged me to look back. There was never a jacket. Woo! Like those little pocket mirrors are tiny. So imagine doing your makeup and like seeing something behind you on that, woo. Of course, paranoia hit me for the first few days and I started doing my makeup against a wall but the one time that I did my makeup on the treadmill again I saw another shadow figure as I applied my bronzer again I decided to check my pocket mirror for any figures near the brown closet it was a relief when I saw none but foolish little me decided to check sideways and I saw a shadow figure standing by the doorway of my bathroom I distinctly remember his height being as tall as a door frame and his really thin appearance he had no face no color just a black shadow with a human figure. That is really, really freaky. Thank goodness I don't use a pocket mirror or use a little mirror to apply my makeup. I'm always using like my big bathroom mirror and also because like I can't see very well. So like using a little thing would just not work out for me. But woo, I, if I were you, I would like always apply my makeup with the wall behind me because I don't think I would ever like get past that. <laughs> Anyways, though, guys, thank you for sending in your stories. I really enjoyed reading them. Don't forget, if you have a creepy story or just something crazy that happened in your life, you can send it to jessievstories at outlook.com. I read them once a week. I'll do like one video, maybe with a theme, and I'll read about three stories in that one video. And I have so many stories to look through, so don't feel, you know, sad or upset if I don't read yours right away. I might read yours like six months from now. You never know. But I'm getting so many great stories and a lot of scary ones. Like, I read these at night before I go to bed and it's not always the best idea. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!